Hey Miami Lakers, we are live from Miami Lakes United Methodist Church for our daily COVID-19 update. Bienvenido a nuestro reciente aquí de Miami Lakes. Estamos vivo de la iglesia, en, en vivo de la iglesia Miami Lakes United Methodist, que es la iglesia Las Calabazas aquí en nuestra comunidad. And I'm joined by our town manager, Ed Peterman. You have Pastor Stewart with us and you have Mario Piñera with us. Uh, also, he's going to be talking about tomorrow's dog distribution. Uh, let me get these folks in the screen. There they, there they are. I, I got past towards Mark. Okay, there he is. Uh, so we're going to be doing our daily lot update. Then we're going to go into two amazing events that are going to be happening right here on the church uh, for the entire community. Uh, not only Miami Lakes, but all of Northwest State, South Broward, opening up to, to everybody. Uh, Mr. Manager. Yeah, I want to start off by first talking about the numbers, right? We always start off with the... Uh, actually, lately it's been very good news, right? We still have only 43 cases confirmed positive in the town of Miami Lakes. That's the fourth day in a row without any changes to our number. That's incredible news. We've only had two new cases in the last 12 days. So we've gone almost two weeks and only two cases. We were averaging one to two a day, and now it looks like we're averaging one to two a week. That's incredible flattening of the curve. And it's again, it's a testament to all of the adherence of our town residents. They've taken it to heart. They've been responsible uh, citizens. They've taken to heart all of the advice that the CDC has given us, and they've taken it to an incredible level. Le quería decir que tenemos solamente 43 casos confirmados positivos aquí en la ciudad de Miami Lakes. El cuarto día seguido sin ningún cambio. No ha habido un caso nuevo en cuatro días. Y es más, solamente hemos tenido dos casos nuevos en uh, los últimos 12 días. So, casi llevamos dos semanas que solamente tenemos dos casos eh, confirmados nuevos positivos en la ciudad de Miami Lakes. So, es un testamento al trabajo duro que han hecho ustedes, eh, los residentes de Miami Lakes, que mantienen el distanciamiento social, se mantienen la cara cubierta cuando salen al público. So, uh, felicidades a ustedes, los residentes de Miami Lakes, por el trabajo difícil que han hecho. Mr. Manager, you want to talk about some of the orders that we're going to be putting in place tomorrow? You want to hold that for a little bit later until we get these updates? No, we can knock it out right now. The uh, As most of you have known, because we've been talking about it now for at least a week, it may be longer, uh, it, was, it was made official late yesterday afternoon. The county has uh, issued an emergency order modifying the limits and restrictions to parks, waterways, and golf courses. So, hemos estado hablando de esto ya hace casi más de una semana que, y por fin ayer hubo el anuncio oficial del condado que han uh, hecho una declaración nueva abriendo parques, eh, botes, eh, y también los, uh, los, los campos de golf. So, los parques. Mañana vamos a tener un anuncio a las 10 de la mañana. So, el Facebook Live de mañana va a ser por la mañana. Uh, tomorrow's Facebook Live is going to be at 10 in the morning. Uh, we're going to have a great uh, ribbon cutting and announcement. Uh, officially reopening our parks. It's a great bit of news. Although the uh, opening is going to be limited. It's not going to be the complete opening that we had prior to COVID. El, el, la apertura, la reapertura de los parques no... Sorry, Miami Lakers, a little technical difficulty there. La reapertura de los parques no va a ser completo, o sea que no van a haber eh, eh, juego de pelota, eh, eh, de balompié, nada de eso todavía. Solamente van a abrir para eh, la actividad pasiva, caminando, eh, haciendo eh, jogging, ese tipo de actividad. The, the activities that are going to be allowed in the parks are going to be the passive act activities. Jogging, walking on the trails, those kind of things. Uh, there are some subtle differences between what our order that we're gonna, I'm gonna sign here later this afternoon and the county order. Uh, for instance, we've made it, I've made a decision to keep the basketball courts that we have, we have three in the town, uh, ha that the town owns three uh, half basketball courts. We, uh, we're gonna keep them closed until the second phase of the park uh, reopening. So there's very uh, subtle differences between our order and the county one but all of that will be available on our uh, website later today or first thing tomorrow morning. Thank you, Mr. Manager. That's great news. We look forward to seeing everybody back at our parks 
enjoying it with their families and starting little by little to get back to normal hopefully as soon as possible and seeing those rules and, and regulations for our businesses pop up very soon but this week we have two great events tenemos dos eventos eh, increíbles aquí at Miami Lakes United Methodist Church uh, the first one is tomorrow and uh, you guys all know Mario he's on various uh, committees here in our, com in our community he gives back every day and he's running the logistics at uh, tomorrow's event which is right here at Miami Lakes United Methodist Church. Mario, talk to us. Good afternoon, Miami Lakers and everyone else. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, tomorrow we have 1,800 pounds of dog food that will be distributed here at the church. Uh, you're gonna be coming in through 67 and going through the parking lot and we will be distributing it into your trunk or in the back seat. You don't have to get out of your car. You just have to come and drive through. We understand through these uh, difficult times uh, it's tough to, to get food, so I can't imagine getting food for your pets. So we'll be here for you tomorrow, and uh, the church will be here as well. And uh, uh, Petland is donating all the food, and uh, we're very thankful, and uh, we're here for you guys. Mar, you want to say it in Spanish? Yeah. Sí, eh, eh, gracias a todos que están viendo hoy, eh, Miami Lakers. Mañana vamos a tener distribución de, de comida de perro, de 1,800 libras de, de comida. Van a estar aquí en la iglesia. Usted va a poder venir eh, por la 67 y ver, venir por el parqueo y nosotros lo vamos a poner en el baúl o atrás en el sillón. No se tiene que salir del carro sin, sin molestia. Eh, vamos a estar aquí hasta que lo terminemos toda la comida. So, por favor, si la necesita, estamos aquí. Eh, la distribución empieza a la una de la tarde. Distribution will be at one o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, thank you very much. Muchas gracias. Thank you, Mario. We'll see you guys out here tomorrow. I'm going to hand it over to Pastor Stewart, who has an amazing event uh, tomorrow, uh, not tomorrow, Saturday, here at the church. And they're actually working every single day here at the church also. Pastor? We have been uh, so fortunate to be able to help uh, a lot of people here in our, in our hometown here at Miami Lakes. And I, I want to give a special thanks and a shout out to the entire Miami Lakes uh, leadership team, starting with Mayor Sid and all the council members that have been integral in making sure that we have the resources to actually uh, feed the people that are really in, in, in need. And daily we've been offering sometimes a hot meal, sometimes a cold meal, uh, vegetables, all kinds of different opportunities for people to fill up their pantries and, and uh, to have a comfort level that it's going to be okay. Because it's getting better, Mayor, every day as you've been pointing out. And uh, we got a long haul ahead of us still, but man, I just love to see the progress that's being made. And, and so this is just an opportunity for people to come out and know that uh, there's somebody watching out for you. You have a wonderful leadership here in Miami Lakes, and we're just so blessed to be a part of that. So in conjunction with that, on Saturday, uh, uh, another big event. Uh, they've been doing a fantastic job over at the two Royal Oak sites that we've done so far. We've been blessed to be a part of that as well and offered volunteers and, and resources for that. So we're going to bring it home today here in uh, downtown Miami Lakes, essentially. We're going to do it on Saturday. It's a little quieter, a little bit earlier. And uh, just want to let people know that another opportunity to open up your trunks. Uh, uh, the process is really smooth. Keep your windows up. Come and join us. It starts at 9 o'clock, and it goes really fast, actually. So you want to make sure you get here, and uh, we go as, until the food runs out. And generally, that's pretty quick. Uh, but we're expecting to have about 700 cars we'll be able to help that day. That's what our plan is. So when those go, that's unfortunately all we'll be able to bring in at the time. I do want to say, if you didn't make it uh, on Saturday, you can still stop by Monday through Friday here as well. And I know next Friday again, the following Friday back at Royal Oak. So you're, uh, again, I can't reiterate enough how wonderful the leadership is here, how dedicated your mayor is, and the whole team doesn't, doesn't just stop with the mayor. It's everybody involved in that and doing an awesome job of uh, taking care of us. I'm really grateful for that, Mayor. Thank you for that. So look forward to seeing everybody on Saturday. God bless. Thank you, Pastor. And it's so important uh, in our community, especially during these difficult times. And when you see our faith-based community, especially the church here, step up, really go out into the community, help folks. I mean, they're feeding folks here every day between 500 and 700 people. Monday through Friday from 10 a.m. to noon. It's amazing. They're out there volunteering. They're going to do the drive today. So this is every day uh, doing, doing the, the job here, along with you know, dozens of volunteers in our community. So you're really seeing in these uh, tough situations, there was a resident who told me this the other day, a lot of folks say, you know, ad adversity uh, brings out your character, right? Your true colors. But they also told me that crisis uh, reveals capability. And I think you're really starting to see that 
uh, all these folks are incredibly capable, have so much talent, just giving back, which is so, so important, uh, and always doing the right thing. And I'll start reading off some of the questions about some of the events. I saw some of the questions here. Alice Cruz Acevo, do we know how many have recovered here in the town of Miami Lake specifically? Sorry. No, uh, again, uh, I know this question has come up uh, from time to time. The information that we are provided by the state of uh, the Florida Department of Health is very limited. What we do know for sure is that uh, the number of cases that have tested positive since the beginning of the, on, uh, of the uh, COVID uh, epidemic or pandemic. So the, uh, the, we know for sure we've had 43 cases, but we don't have any other information with regard to whether those cases have been mild or severe, old or young, male or female. We don't get that kind of information, so I apologize for that. Uh, Mitzi, Mitzi wants to know, is there something happening at Royal Oaks Park uh, when it comes to the food distribution this week? It's happening here on Saturday at Miami Lakes United Methodist Church right here on 67th Avenue. There will be a food distribution at 9 a.m., starting at 9 a.m., right, Pastor? Yeah, Pumpkin Patch Church. That's the good. famous Pumpkin Patch Church. I think everybody in Northwest Dade knows where the Pumpkin Patch Church is at. So it is here on Saturday at 9 a.m., uh, opening up their doors, roll in through 67th Avenue, correct? Well, they're, they're still working out, I guess, the logistics on that end. Uh, but definitely here at 9 a.m., Mitzi. Uh, Gregory Harrison, any cat food tomorrow? Mario, we got any cat food tomorrow? Unfortunately, right now, we only have dog food and some dog treats. So we do not have cat food. Right so, Gregory, no cat food at the moment. There's dog food and treats. We'll see what we can do. We'll keep reaching out to folks. Uh, we want to make sure that we take care of our furry family members because uh, we know how important they are to, to all of us. How, may, uh, how are you, John Quartis, Mr. Manager, how are you ensuring that no new cases will emerge later? Well, what we're trying to do is take a methodical, very limited, step-by-step -step approach to the reopening. The municipalities in Dade County are working hand-in-hand -hand with the county and with the state to make sure that we don't do too much too fast. And if you see the, 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 the methodology that we've used is we're using the recreational activities first, loosening the grip on those, not completely, but just loosening the grip on the recreational activities first. Uh, the county has working groups that we have great representation from our area, from the town of Miami Lakes on those working groups, talking about the subsequent phases, right? When we start talking about businesses, and those and the loosening of restrictions on businesses and allowing some of those to uh, reopen little by little using the guidance from the medical professionals first and at the forefront and making sure that we don't have that what you're th talking about right we don't have that second spike so we don't do it recklessly we don't do it carelessly we do it step by step little by little we open up the spigot only a little we don't open it wide open and I think part of that is to go back to fully, fully uh, normal, the same that we were before the coronavirus, is that we need mass testing. I think, yeah, we have regional testing sites. But some of the great news that came out of uh, Governor Santis out of his press conference yesterday was that he is going to allow pharmacists through, uh, through around Florida uh, to, to do these tests. And I think that's the way to do it. I know that there's a lot of small mom and pop pharmacies here in Miami Lakes that'll jump on that op opportunity because they're providing a great public service uh, to our community, but it ensures that we go back to normal uh, sooner rather than later and ha ensuring that that mass testing uh, happens. So that was great, great news. And, and we're gonna be working with his office and his team to make sure it rolls out here in Northwest State as soon as possible, because we know the importance of that. I don't see any of the questions, comments, concerns. I'm gonna go around one more time for some closing uh, remarks. Uh, Pastor, you got anything else you wanna add in there? I just want everybody to keep the faith and uh, you should look forward to tomorrow because it's going to be a better day. Each and every day is getting better. Just keep up your faith and uh, be strong because everybody's working together to make this the great community that is and, and even better as we go forward. Thank you, Pastor. Mario, what do you got to say about tomorrow? Real quick, tomorrow just, uh, if, uh, we'll be here for your pets. If, uh, also, don't be afraid to ask for help. Man. We're all neighbors. We're all in this together, so that's what uh, neighbors are for. You need something, just ask. Don't be afraid, man. Thank you, Mario. Uh, Mr. Manager, one more question. I see, is there any place uh, that they are doing the antibody test? 
there's a study going on. It's not a widespread testing. There's a study going on, which is the University of Miami in conjunction with the Miami-Dade uh, Fire Rescue Department, and they're doing limited random testing of antibodies. It's not a type of testing that you can just show up. It's a type of testing where they have called people and set up appointments in advance, and it's random. So there's no way you can call in and say, hey, put me on the list, I'm interested in it. That doesn't work that way. So it's a random sample. What they're trying to do is test to see what the uh, penetration is in certain areas of Miami-Dade County. They have testing sites that the University of Miami is doing together with Miami-Dade Fire Rescue. And one of the sites is here in the town of Miami Lakes. It's done once a week and it's only done by appointments. They randomly call people and they enlist people uh, to participate in that way. So thank you, Miami Lakers. I don't see any of the questions. Uh, if you do, reach out to us, 305-364-6100. We'll be back live tomorrow around the same time. There's a lot tomorrow, of work. 10 a.m. Tomorrow at 10 a.m. is going to be our Facebook time uh, tomorrow because that's when we're going to be reopening our parks. Uh, we got to let you guys go because I know we're going to be heading out. we got still more, more work to do uh, now in a little bit. We had a huge shipment come in today, and, and I think we're even getting a, a refrigerated uh, cargo uh, container, right? One of these huge, which is amazing. The amount of folks stepping up and helping. So, Miami Lakers, reach out to us. We are here for you. You see all these amazing volunteers, people that believe in our community, that are working hard to make sure that everybody is serviced, that we're taking care of our brothers and sisters in our town. So, again, we will get through this together, Miami Lakers. Keep working together. It's it's a time for unity. And, yes, I will work on getting some new equipment because the te <laughs> technical difficulties will, will end up stopping. So, Let's keep up the faith, keep working together, and together we will get through this. God bless and take care, Miami Lakers.